All right, in this video, I'm going to cover some um, the basics of learning how to do a, a squat. Now, the squat that, that you learn can be applied to air squats without body weight squats, um, barbell squats, front squats with a barbell, um, front squats with kettlebells, goblet squats, which we will also do in this video. Goblet squats are a great training tool to learn this. And um, I'm going to start in with just a few little progressions you can use in order to learn how to do the squat and feel comfortable doing it, um, especially before throwing anything on your back, any heavy weight. <clears throat> the method that I'm, uh, that I'm going to be talking about is inspired, if not just flat out copied from uh, Dan John. There's a uh, progression he highlights in his book, uh, Mass Made Simple. That I like a lot in terms of just learning how to how to do a proper squat. Um, so I'm borrowing a bit from that in this explanation. Starting off, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, get into like a vert like you're gonna just blast off in the in the air in a vertical jump. So without thinking about it, just jump up in the air. All right, if you do it, I think he says do it like two or three times and look down and see where you landed. That's a pretty good place to, to find your feet, um, to find your stance for the squat. So I'm uh, slightly more than shoulder width apart myself, and uh, so you start there. <clears throat> now what you're gonna do is just go down nice and simple. You're gonna uh, bring, you're gonna break at your knees a little bit, just a little bit, just relaxing. Kick your butt out and just sit down with your elbows, I just want to emphasize this, elbows inside your knees and just spread out your, spread out your, uh, spread out your knees, open up your hips. Keep your chest high. <sighs> Mr. John says, uh, keep your chest high like you're walking into a bar full of uh, supermodels or that's men or women, you know, whatever. Um, keep your chest high. Puffing up your chest, engaging your core. So, baby, that's what I do. That's how I picked up my wife squatting in a bar. Um, all right, so find your find your position, and then put your hands together, kind of like you're saying a little prayer. I hope this hope it don't blow up my knees here. Um, and we're just gonna lower ourselves down and pry those knees apart, get that chest high. All right, and when you're coming up, you're just driving off your heels and bring your hips forward at the top. So from the side, now one thing, uh, one thing to note, we're just learning, what, what we're really emphasizing here is, is, is the movement, not so much where your feet are yet. Um, in terms of uh, where your toes are, rather, you know, the angle of your toes. So if it, if you need to put your, if you need to put your uh, your toes out to compensate for ankle mobility or poor hip mobility or uh, even poor uh, thoracic stability, um, upper back, uh, then, then then go for it. We're, we're we're just getting used to the movement, so. Put your toes out if you need to. This is not ideal in a, in a, in a typical squat, but it's a good starting point to, to learn the movement. And break at the knees just ever so slightly, but back hinging at the hips, and chest is high. You're prying those knees apart, and come back up. That's it. Once you feel pretty comfortable doing that, walk over to, jeez, Static. <laughs> uh, walk over to a, uh, a doorknob if you're in your house, a uh, pole. In this case, I got a uh, cable fly station. Grab a hold of that, bring your toes in a little more, uh, no more than a 30, 30 degree angle out. Bring your toes in, get about that same, same stance, and you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to Lower yourself down. This way, uh, a lot of folks have trouble keeping their heels up. You know, especially when 
you want to keep your mills down. You're not going to lose your, if you lose your balance, it's not that big of a deal when you're holding all this up in here. So you can really focus on driving your heels um, into the ground while you're doing this, this squat. Okay, so I'm just going to come down. Yay! Down here and drive back up. So I have this nice safety of the pole here to keep me from falling on my face, falling on my butt. And I can train this squat. I'm going to do that a few times until I get used to it. Once you're, once you're able to do it, do it with your toes pointed at a non-obnoxious level. Do it where you feel comfortable, where you're not putting any strain on your knees. You're driving your, driving your, uh, your knees apart, separating the floor. Your knees are tracking over your toes. They're not bending out way over your toes. Your heels are not coming up. Your chest is high, you're not hunching over. Your core is engaged. When you can do all that, put it together without, without real effort, without really having to think about it. Where you can just drop down, fire your knees apart. If you notice my butt is dropping below my knees, that is totally cool. Uh, what you don't want, when you hear people complain about going below parallel, where their thighs are going below parallel to the floor, is when people are doing this kind of thing. You know, maybe their heels are coming up, their knees are going out too far, you're putting a lot of un un unnecessary stress on your knee. That's when it's a bad idea. But when you're properly we have proper hip mobility, when you're driving properly off the floor, when your chest is high, there's nothing wrong with going rock bottom. In fact, it feels, you might find that it feels more natural than stopping the parallel once you do this a few times. Anyways, let's move on. So once you do, once you do that, we're gonna do a goblet squat. Um, I like to do goblet squats, not only, we're gonna use it as a training tool right now. Um, but it's a great workout by itself. Uh, you know, if you have some sort of aversion to putting heavy stuff on your back or can't, you aren't mobile enough to do a proper front squat or you just want to mix it up, you can use some heavy dumbbells and do goblet squats. Um, we're not going to do that today. We're, we'd like to graduate to, uh, to using the barbell ideally, but um, goblet squats are also great in like circuit training, throw it into uh, to, 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 to complement other leg exercises, interval training, and so on. But uh, what we're going to use it today is a way to keep our elbows cradling. So our elbows are in, which is allowing us to engage our lats, keeping our chest high. Dumbbell. You can also do this with a kettlebell. You just grab it by the horns, by the handle. It's, it's secured in our chest. Our lats are engaged, right? Chest is high, my, uh, my core, my stomach, transverse abdominis is, is locked in, keeping my chest high, and I just do the same thing. Elbows are cradling the, cradling the dumbbell, kind of underneath your chin here like you're, like you're posing for a little, little picture, like, <laughs> like clamor shots by Dev or something. All right, so we got our stance, and we're just going to, let the bell, or the, the uh, yeah, the bell, it's a dumbbell. Let the dumbbell just sink in between us. Our elbows should be kind of brushing up against our knees here, keeping them inside, keeping my chest high. I'm driving off the heels, coming up, bringing my hips forward. So from the side, we are just letting the, spreading our knees, letting the goblet or the, uh, the dumbbell just fall. Well, basically we're sitting inside ourselves. We're just sitting, sitting down here. Oh, spread your knees, keep your chest high, drive off your heels. Really engage your stomach when you're coming out. When you're coming out from, from the bottom of the, uh, of the squat, that's uh, commonly referred to as coming out of the hole. I don't know why I did this when I said coming out of the hole. That was horrible. Um, <laughs> you're coming out of the, the hole that you're in here. You're driving up. When you hit, when you start driving up out of the hole, now you want to have your core engaged the whole time. But especially when you come shooting out of there, 
you want to really be strong. Just, you almost, the more you do it, the more you're able to, might not make sense before you do it, but the more you're able to just generate the force that it takes to drive yourself up through your core. So the more engaged you are there, especially down at the bottom coming out, the easier it's going to be, uh, and of course the safer it's going to be. So goblet squats, one more time. Hold that sucker tight to your chest. Let your elbows cradle it. Your lats are engaged, core is engaged, and we are going to just sit down in between our knees. Elbows are just brushing up against the knees. Back's tight. Back's hot. Chest is high. Come out of the hole. All in your heels. Heels are on the floor the whole time. You should, uh, you should practice these suckers and you should become pretty darn proficient at the squat uh, just using this method. Take your time. Don't get too frustrated. Uh, a lot of people, including myself when I started doing squats, I was, um, I thought I could never do it, I just thought my body wasn't meant to do it. This is a good, easy way, simplified way 